Welcome to Inside the Lab with Aero Electronics, the web series dedicated to exploring the latest in technology and electronics. Today, we're talking about the Air Radio SDR development platform using the Air Radio and Aero's SOC kit with Altera Cyclone 5, which is the result of collaboration efforts between Aero, Altera, and analog devices to demonstrate the benefits of ADI's AD9361. The AD9361 is a complete 2x2 RF agile transceiver on a single IC integrating RF, mixed signal, and digital functionality that can be configured for use with multiple communication standards in the 70 MHz to 6 GHz range, and channel bandwidths from 200 kHz to 56 MHz. The concept of SDR is nothing new, with the idea being that a single, highly configurable radio is able to service multiple frequency bands and differing protocols. This provides tremendous benefits over systems that require multiple radios, including reduced size, power consumption, system complexity, and design risk. However, implementing SDR has often proved to be a challenge in its own right. Aero's Air Radio Board accelerates the prototyping and development of a complete radio system, utilizing the AD9361. The SOC board boots the Linux drivers via the microSD card to configure 1,000 registers within the AD9361. So let's set it up. The first thing to do is on the back, check switch 6 to ensure that positions 0 to 4 are set to 0 and then also insert your micro SD card which comes preloaded with the necessary Linux image. On the front, there are a few jumpers that you need to verify are in the correct position as well. Clock select 0 and 1 should both be in the lower position. Boot select 0 and 1 should also be in the lower position, but boot select 2 should be in the upper position. There's another jumper that sets the voltage to the HSMC connector, and that needs to be set to 2.5 volts. Connect the air radio to the HSMC connector, and attach the coax in a feedback loop so that transmit 1A is connected to receive 2A and receive 1A is connected to transmit 2A. After that, plug in your power, USB on the go for your mouse, and VGA for your monitor. Press the red power button to turn it on and let it boot. Now that the system is booted, the DDS inside the Cyclone 5 is utilized to generate a sine wave for RF wireless transmission using the AD9361 and the receive and transmit local oscillators are configured to 2.45 GHz, and that's because the air radio ships with 2.4 to 2.5 GHz balance. These setup steps, as well as additional information, are available in the Air Radio Plus SOC Kit Quick Start Guide on Aero.com. In the next episode, we'll show you how to configure the AD9361. The AD9361 provides designers with a high level of integration that facilitates the development of SDR. And the Air Radio, coupled with Aero's SOC kit with Altera Cyclone 5, provides an easy-to-use platform for rapid development. For more information, visit Aero.com.